the last 15 years, here's the question. Has there been global warming or not? And I have this radical suggestion. Why don't you talk to all of the world's experts in the subject? Because they all agree on the answer. I know, I'm just talking crazy, aren't I? Here's why I'm going crazy. You can get two clearly different answers on that question. That's true. You can get the correct answer and you can get the Fox quote news unquote answer. If you listen to MSNBC, yes, the temperatures have risen and there's even been some of the hottest years on record. Yes, and they say that because all of the evidence supports that conclusion. During that 15 year period, no doubt about it. And we gotta move fast to bring down the carbon usage and, and we gotta tax and we gotta regulate, we gotta go crazy. You're claiming NBC actually said that. NBC actually said that you have to be taxed and you have to be absolutely crazy. They really said that? Are you going to stick to that assertion? Listen to Fox News. Well, there's your problem right there. The Fox Network does not have a news station. I thought this was fucking obvious have scientists right there that say, you know what, the last 15 years, there's been no global warming at all. No, there are no scientists who have ever said that over the past 15 years, there has been no global warming at all. <sighs> and they talk about how the UN Climate Committee is having a problem dealing with that. Yes, and that of course is another lie by the Fox Network. The IPCC has absolutely no knowledge of any so-called pause or or uh, flat line for the past 15 years or so. Therefore, they're not having any trouble with it. <sighs> Here's my question, very simply. What is the truth? Here's the answer, very simply. Go ask the scientists. They all agree on the answer. Is this really that difficult to understand? You go and ask NBC, and then you go and ask Fox News, you completely fucking ignored the entire scientific community worldwide? Does that make any sense? Just asking. How about if I show you the truth? Here we go. First, it is important to put the previous 15 years into perspective by showing the entire data sets. This is the Giztemp data set going back to the year 1880, and it shows the decadal averages for each decade. As one can see, since the 1880s, we have seen a slight decrease in global average temperature, followed by a sharp increase in global average temperature. This is one of four data sets, which I am going to show. This data set is from the World Meteorological Organization. As, as you can see, we have a slight decrease in global average temperature followed by a sharp increase, same as Giztemp. Here we see the data set Crewtemp 4 for global average temperatures. This is the mean, of course. As we can see, a slight decrease around the 1890s, followed by a very sharp increase in the 1990s, 2000s, and 2010. Same as Giztemp, same as the World Meteorological Organization, and the next data set. And here is the data set number four, which is the HAD CRUT version 4.2. As one can see, past three decades or so has been sharply increased in global average temperature. And finally, here is a chart showing all four data sets together. As one can see, a slight decrease in global average temperature followed by a slight increase, followed by a slight decrease, and then followed by a sharp increase. Here is the Giztemp chart for the past 15 years, starting with a Super El Nino and ending in a mild La Nina. As one can see, past 15 years there has been an increase in global average temperature. But that's not the interesting part. Here is the global average temperatures for the past 14 years, not 15. This ignores the Super El Nino year. As you can see, a sharper increase in global average temperature over the past 14 years. What happens if we increase the number of years from 15 to 16? 
By golly, it's warmer than the past 15 years. I wonder why Fox quote news unquote picked 15 years, not 16 or 14. Could it have been because of the super El Nino year? Golly. And here we see the sharp global average temperature increase for the past 17 years. Thus we can see why denialists of human-caused climate change love to start at the year 1998, the Super El Nino year. One can play the same game with all of the data sets if one starts in the year 1998, which was the Super El Nino year, we see a slow increase in global average temperature, but if you start after 1998 or before 1998, let's take a look and see what happens. This is the global average temperature increase over the past 14 years, not 15 years. This is excluding the Super El Nino year of 1998. Finally, I wish to point out that out of the 15 previous years, 12 of them set record high global average temperatures. This, finally, puts to end the idiotic myth that there has been no increase in global average temperature over the past 15 years.